In our passage from the book of Acts, it's been 40 days since Jesus was resurrected. During that time, Jesus has been talking to and he's been instructing the disciples. He has told his followers to wait in Jerusalem where they will receive the Holy Spirit. The disciples are wondering about the future. Jesus has not told them everything. And they ask him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? After all that has happened, the disciples are still thinking that Jesus has come to bring the nation of Israel back to political greatness. The disciples are still thinking in earthly terms. They still have not grasped the real intent of Jesus' ministry. Now, most Jews uh, did not recognize Jesus as the Messiah because they were expecting a warrior king. They thought the Messiah would lead an army to defeat the Roman occupying force and then become king of the restored nation of Israel. But Jesus came seeking peace, not war. Jesus accepted the Roman people as equal to his own. Rather than making other people suffer, Jesus suffered and died. He died a criminal's death upon a cross. Jesus was far from the expectations of the Jewish people. And then, above all of this, Jesus rose from the dead. Yet even being raised from the dead, Jesus did not come back to life to take revenge upon the people who had betrayed him, who had deserted him, who had made him suffer, and who had killed him. Jesus came back to the lowly people that he had lived with, and he offered them peace. He offered them reconciliation. Even with all this evidence showing that Jesus was a different kind of Messiah than they had expected, including the considered, he considered political boundaries of no account, the disciples still asked Jesus if he was going to restore the nation of Israel. You know, some people are just slow to learn. And the disciples are not unusual, however. Many people, then and now, are just slow to learn. We might be excused, though, because God's ways are not our ways. God sees the big picture, while we only see a small part. God understands how everything fits together. And that's why faith in God is so important. We need to trust that God knows better than we do. Now, another misunderstanding the disciples had was the expectation that Jesus was going to set things right all by himself. They asked, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? Now, Jesus worked miracles. And after rising from the dead, yeah, we all might expect that Jesus could take care of anything without any human help. The disciples expected Jesus to do all the work in bringing in God's kingdom. But for whatever reason, God calls we frail, slow to understand, and sometimes lacking in courage creatures to do the work of bringing in God's kingdom. We would rather have some higher power take care of things for us and change our circumstances to our liking. After all, God can certainly do a better job than we can. But as I said, this is not the way that God does things. As we all know, God's plan is for people. That means you and I to take God's good news to the rest of the people of the world. Jesus tells his disciples that they will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon them, and then they will be his witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. God's plan is to start the spread of the good news from the holy city of Jerusalem and just keep progressing outwards until the ends of the earth are covered. Yeah, God's plan. And God's plan is to give us the Holy Spirit for strength, guidance, and encouragement so that we can spread the good news of God's love and grace. God gives us all a call to serve. God gives us the mission to the world. 
And God gives us the greatest ally that we can ever have. That's God's own self in the form of the Holy Spirit. Jesus' last words on earth are to commission us to proclaim the good news to the ends of the earth. Jesus then ascends into heaven, disappears out of sight. The disciples stand around, gazing up into the sky, looking at the screen, wondering what's going to happen next. But while they're all gawking at the sky, they notice that there's these uh, two figures standing beside them in white robes. Now, we all assume that they're angels sent by God. And the angels tell the disciples, uh, Men of Galilee, why are you standing around looking up to heaven? Jesus has gone into heaven and he's going to come back the same way you saw him go. In other words, what are you doing standing around for? Jesus told you what to do. Go do it. And that's what God's telling us today. That's what God is telling us. What are you doing gawking that heaven, waiting for God to do something for you? The Holy Spirit is with you always, always to give you strength, to give you guidance and encouragement. Jesus has told us what to do. Let's go do it. Amen.